Jake here for American Trucks, and in this video, I'm taking a look at these RB20 running boards with the protective bed liner coating, fitting 2019 and newer Ram 1500 crew cabs, as well as 2010 and newer Ram 2500 and 3500 crew cabs. These running boards are going to appeal to the Ram owner who's looking to add some protection, some off-road style, and some functionality to their truck. These are high quality steel running boards that make a rugged visual statement with some added protection and versatility to go perfectly with your Ram styling. Running boards are some of the easiest modifications you can make to your truck, and unlike a lot of other mods, they can serve multiple purposes, like these RB20 boards do. Now, of course, the primary function of any running board is axis. Now, at their widest point here, they measure seven and a half inches, and they taper to about a six and a half inch width toward the rear. So they provide you with a nice, wide, solid foundation on which to put your feet pretty much all the way through. And for someone who's a little bit shorter, like I am, I find these kinds of steps way more helpful than smaller ones. It's a good stable platform to lift yourself up on, especially if you need to reach into the cabin or onto the roof. And it's especially gonna be helpful if you've got a lift on your truck or if you're planning on fitting one in the future. Now the punch hole design here also helps improve grip by letting water and debris drain off and giving the tread of your shoes something to grab onto. And that brings us to the other big benefit here, the protection. Now, as you can see from our truck in the shots here and looking at these on the table in front of me, these are pretty low profile design. So they tuck up pretty close to the rocker panels. And they even have this edge on the back here to give you a little added protection for the truck itself. So if you are doing any off-roading, these are gonna provide you with a lot of protection for those rocker panels. It's not gonna seriously affect your ground clearance or your breakover angle either. So you're not sacrificing much capability by running these. And the tough construction also means that if you do happen to hit them on something, they can take the beating. And that gives us a really nice segue to talk about how these are made. The steps here are constructed using heavy duty 16 gauge steel. It's been zinc coated and galvanized to protect against rust and corrosion. And over top of that, it's finished off with this textured black bed liner type coating as well for extra protection. Now this finish that we're talking about here looks cool. Of course, it's gonna match nicely if you've got a spray and bed liner in your truck, but it's also super durable, more so than regular powder coating, which you find on most other side steps. And this again can really take a beating. It's thick, it's got a lot of added protection to it, and there's quite a bit of texture here so you get some extra grip on your steps. And with all that, I think it's safe to say that these are gonna stand the test of time and they should do quite well, especially if you live in a harsh climate. Now the bottoms of the steps are pretty open as you can see, so they aren't gonna retain moisture in the same way as something like a tubular step would, which again is just gonna add to their durability factor and mean that they're gonna last you quite some time. Now, when it comes to the price, these are gonna be a little bit more on the expensive side. About $825 is the going rate, and that is gonna to fall toward the top of the category as far as price goes. Now, these, of course, aren't gonna be quite as expensive as some other larger steps, or especially things like electric folding steps. But $825 for a set of side steps is not exactly a drop in the bucket. However, I do think that these present a good value for your money because of that construction, the clearance they provide, and the accessibility factor, especially considering they've got this really nice coating over top of it. So all that taken into consideration, I really don't think that the price here is too bad. Now, as far as installation goes, these are gonna get an easy one out of three on the difficulty meter, and they should only take you about two hours to complete. Now, all the hardware and all the new bracketry that you need comes included in the box. So these are gonna bolt right on with all the included hardware. There's no cutting or modification needed to your truck or the steps themselves. So makes it a pretty simple bolt-on installation process. And with that, let's head out to the shop and show you how to do it. Tools required for this install include a ratchet and a 13 millimeter socket. What's up guys? Today we're installing a set of running boards on our RAM, so let's get started. Now I've got all of our brackets for our running board laid out. They're all exactly the same bracket. We have three sets of three studs underneath the truck. So we have lock washers, flat washers, and nuts for each of those studs for all three brackets. So we'll get underneath the truck, slide our brackets onto our studs, and get our hardware installed. So now we're starting at our rear studs. We'll take our bracket and slide that over our studs. And then we can take a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut, and thread those on our studs.
and then we can grab our 13 millimeter socket to tighten down our nuts. Now we can repeat that exact same process for our middle and front brackets. So now we're ready to mount our running board onto our brackets. Now we have these smaller mounting brackets that are gonna go into the bottom side of our running board and twist in just like that. The two threaded holes on those brackets will line up with the two holes in our mounting bracket and then we'll take one of our bolts to tighten it down. So now we can slide our bracket into place and then we'll grab our bolts and thread those into our bracket. And then we'll grab our 13 millimeter socket to tighten those down. And then we can do that same thing for our other two brackets and repeat the whole process on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the RB20 running boards with protective bed liner coating for your 2019 and newer Ram 1500 crew cab. Thank you for watching and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.